Hey, Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you this really cool sitemap builder for web designers. So I wanna introduce you to the octopus.do. It's a super fast visual sitemap builder. It's great if you're a web designer or you're a UI designer who wants to create a sitemap. Maybe you're doing a presentation or maybe you're just setting up the pages for a website, then this is a really cool tool to use. And I'm gonna play around and show you how to use it very quickly, but you can also save it in a PDF. You can save it as an XML file and it's really great just to in, you know, embed it into your presentation or save it out. So um, here's a website, you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description. You can check out you know, um, other pricing features and other stuff they've got. But um, we're gonna jump in. I'm gonna click new project and we'll land on a page like this. And basically we've got our main page and we've got all our other pages. Now, as you put your mouse over it, you'll get these icons. You can click the top right to add comments so I can add comments here. Hey, work, very intuitive. You can click add there. So if I add a team members, um, they can see the comments there. So you can see that. So I think that's really cool as well. I can left click on any of these little tabs here. I can, you know, change the colors of them. Maybe I all want them to have like different colors. I can do that. I can double click and rename navbar. I can add wireframes. I can add blocks, um, notes, and even link to a page. You can also make symbols as well. So if you want something to be consistent throughout other pages, you can make it into a symbol, right? So I can click the plus button and add a page and you can also do it on the sides as well. If you want to delete a page, you just left click on the top bar of it or just left click on it and then click the delete. So maybe we're having a simple website, three pages. I can go here, click the plus button and then click. So this page might be um, the about page. I'm not gonna have my story. If I press enter, it's gonna add another block for me. I'm also gonna have on here, I'm gonna have like resources or something, um, social links. So, you know, each block can be a page. And um, what if I wanted to add different wireframes? So what you can do is you click, I can click wireframes and you can actually go through here and it's gonna give you suggestions. So this is text, you can have header. So if you're doing like a visual build instead of just like basic site map, then you can actually make it more visual, okay? So maybe I wanna add um, images on this page. So maybe this page is gonna be like, products, okay? And then maybe we've got this. Uh, maybe I wanna make it like gray. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back here, add this, and you can change that. Press enter and you can add, uh, you know, text there, which I think is really cool. We can also link to another page. So um, we're gonna go click on one of these. So if I click this and then click products. So this one I'll put products. Uh, about this one, I'll, I'll delete that and I'll delete this one. As you can see, this might just change the colors as well, just so I get a visual representation there. Um, so I'm going to click add block, add another wireframe, and then maybe I just want like header text or something, it drags at the top. And I just want to like add gray there, as you can see. So maybe this is like the header. Can add another block. Uh, maybe we've got like a map or something. Drag at the bottom. Obviously, you can change the colors if you want. I think gray looks cool. Header, images, map. Um, can type products here. And then maybe we want to like add a footer. You can click this and let's see if they've got a footer down here. So you got the footer there. FAQs. This one can be like a footer as well. So you. You can see it's very easy and fast to make sitemaps um, that work very well. You can also design the 401 and the cookies page as well. So, and if you scroll down, you've got the legend there of the different colors. So you can rename the colors. So maybe top header or whatever. You can rename the legend down the bottom here. You can also just plus pages down here as well. If you want to just design a certain page or whatever it is, super useful. Now, the cool thing is I can go to the top right and I can change the view from horizontal to vertical. You can see I can also link um, different parts of the pages. So I can also maybe link to that one. Maybe I want to link this to this one, whatever you want to do. I can also save the file. So I want to click save. I can save it as a PNG. You can see it gives you the options there. I can generate. And I'm just going to go to my downloads folder, save it there real quick and open it. 
And there we have it, we've got our image of all our pages. So you can go and show this client or put it in a presentation or whatever you wanna do with it. It's super easy to do. You can also save the sitemap file as well, XML, and also a PDF, which is both good. You also got this public address. So if you wanna do share it to your client, you can send them the link. So you copy and paste the link up the top here and they can see it very fast. Beautiful. You can also add sticky notes as well. So maybe make it a bit smaller. Add your page or whatever you want to do. So maybe I need to put it down here. You can move that around pretty easily. You also got product settings as well. So if I click the three dots at the top right corner, we've got dark mode, which looks amazing. You can also turn the color legend off. So that the colors that you saw before, I can turn that off and on. We can also click on estimate and also images if you want to add images. So if I go back, we can also click add images at the top right corner and you can add images and you know, maybe I want to add this, click the little plus and it's going to add that into that. But I wouldn't use it for that. I think that's not really the best case. Estimate though, if that's on, you in the top right corner, a little button will pop up. You can click that. And maybe you're someone that wants to calculate the hours and send the quote really quickly to a client without like sending them you know, your proposal templates and all that stuff. You literally can go in here and type in, you know, the rate. So, so I'm just doing it roughly here. And, you know, you can type hours in here. So maybe that's like one hour, two, three, for like each part or each page um, or each section. You can calculate that. And what it's going to do, the top right corner, now because I put in these time zones, it's going to calculate all the price. We put in the rates and the, uh, the hours. And now you can see the total price will be 6,000 to build this website out. So I think that's really neat. You can also check the, the settings and change the currency. You can turn tax off if you want. And then once you do that, you can actually click share the top right button. And you know you can do edit or read whatever, click copy or send it to their email address. If you have a client, you can type it in there. I'll paste it in and it should show them. And on the right, they can click the little button and it's gonna show them the price as well. They can zoom in, use it as, a, as they can. So. That's how you use Octopus Doe. I think it's a really neat tool, very simple to use, very fast in terms of building a sitemap for web design. So definitely check it out. I'll put the link in the description below and um, yeah, see how you go. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below. If you are a designer and you like building websites, let me know and maybe you can do a tutorial on that. But thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe for more design content every week.